what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today i am back with the most requested video many of you have been asking me to do a video on this and finally today i am here as i said i will only do what you want me to do <laughs> Before beginning, if you have not subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And remember, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you understand this video and its intricacies. <laughs> what do I name this video as? Here we will discuss today on the three types of karma. Yes. Everybody knows karma as karma. <laughs> Everybody says this is part of your karma. That is a part of your karma. But actually is it that everything which is happening is a part of our karma? When I say karma, I mean is everything predestined? Well, we will see to that today. Welcome to karma session. So here we will discuss about the Three types of karma. What, what is the first karma? Actually, these are not types. This, this is the whole karma. But it is partitioned into three categories or types you can say. But it is ultimately one. Because karma is basically your actions. And what you reap. There's, therefore, there is this saying, right? As you sow, shall you reap. <laughs> If you have gone to the field and if you have plotted strawberry seeds there, you cannot expect rice to grow. And if you have plotted some other potato, you can't expect tomato, right? Whatever you sow, that will come out from the ground. That's very important to know because if you do not know that, then you will not sow the right seeds. And then later you cry that, why this, why that? Have you seen people crying? Oh, this happened, that happened. Nothing has happened. You have made it happen. <laughs> Therefore, the first karma, the first kind or first category is known as, any guesses? It is known as Sanchit Karma. Now what is Sanchit Karma? Sanchit Karma. I'll explain with an example. How many of you have made for Westerners I'm asking. How many of you have made dough for a pizza? It's big dough right? And how many of you have in India and Asian countries have made dough for roti, chapati, puri, Raise hands. Yes, I have made it <laughs> countless thousand times. In fact, today, uh, so not today, uh, two days back I had to make yesterday for delicious puri and pani because yesterday Pushya Nakshatra was running. Pushya is all about what? Milk. Milk means pani. <laughs> pani is heaven for vegetarians, right? Anyways, I love to deviate. Coming back to the topic. Sanchit karma is like the whole dough which you have. What happens when you knead the dough? It's one full unit, right? And then later on you pluck things from there. And then you roll it. And then you put it in the oil. Hot oil. Piping hot. Here, when I say Sanchit Karma, it means the entire accumulated karma, okay, of the soul. Now, when I say soul, I do not mean that the soul can be touched by karma because Lord Krishna says in the Gita that the soul cannot be touched or killed or harmed or burnt. Nahanyate hanya mane sharire, that shloka is there. But when I say the karma of the soul, it simply means from the time he is in this material world, from millions of lifetimes, as it is said in the scriptures, whatever good and bad he has accumulated, that 
इन टोटैलिटी इज द संचित कर्मा All the good things and all the bad things, the sum total of everything which you have done is the Sanchit Karma. Now, all of the karma does not come in one lifetime. See, when you make the dough, you do not fry the dough altogether or you don't roll the whole dough right at a stretch. You don't do it. What you do? You will pluck one ball. That ball which you pluck out to fry in the pan is known as Prarabdha Karma. Prarabdha Karma means from this Sanchit Karma, whatever you get to enjoy and suffer in this life. Is it understood? Which manifests as your horoscope, so called astrology. <laughs> That means, whatever you are getting in this life is only the prarabdha karma. Okay? And then, what happens when you fry the puri? Or when you fry the round shape, this dough, when you fry it, then what happens? It puffs. Have you tasted puris? <laughs> Indians might have definitely tasted it. Now, what happens? When you... When the puri is ready, you bring it out and when you are serving it, you can serve with different sabjis or paneer or potato, which means you are adding things over it, right? Basically eating a puri with sabji means what? You are adding sabji over the puri, which means you are modifying the puri. In a way, yes. That is known as Kriya Mana Karma. Kriya Mana Karma means from the time you are born in this lifetime, what activities you have done. Because that is very important. Because ultimately you have the dough. And then you have the rolling and the puri will puff and then you add it in sabji and then you eat it. Is it understood? <laughs> very complex. No, see I made it very simple. Yes. Otherwise people don't understand things. Even for me it was very difficult to understand. What is this? What is that? Three kinds of karma. Oh my God. It's very complex. Now. What I want to tell is how to know which are the different karmas. Well, it is not very easy to know. The prarabdha karma can be known through the birth horoscope of a person. When I say prarabdha karma, I do not mean back backlogs or pending karma or good things or bad things. I mean the totality, what he is destined to enjoy or suffer in this life. I am using the word enjoy and suffer. And is the word I am using. Not only enjoy or not only suffer. Basically experiences in this life. The prarabdha, what he is destined, which cannot be altered. But what is happening to him now at this moment or what is happening to me now is not only on the basis of the prarabdha. Now you may be saying, what about Sanchit Karma? I will go to Sanchit Karma later. <clears throat> but whatever is ultimately happening to you now is not only the Prarabdha. It is the mixture of the Prarabdha and the Kriya Mana Karma. Let me give you an example. Prarabdha Karma is like a bank account. Suppose Sanchit Karma is like the million dollar account which you have and Prarabdha Karma, suppose for this life you have one million dollars to use, okay? And then you have the one million dollars. 
Now what do you do with this? You can either waste it in alcohol, in party, in spending it over women or just roaming this universe like a zombie and uploading photos in Facebook and showing, yeah, I'm so happy. Yes. Sounds familiar? <laughs> <laughs> or you can use it for spiritual activities to do charity to give donation now that does not mean that you should not enjoy but the enjoyment which we do should be under the regulations of these scriptures then that gives us fulfillment for example marriage marriage is a authorized bona fide way of enjoyment in the scriptures but when you do not do that, and instead of that you go on wasting the money recklessly on the opposite sex, it goes rampant. And then at the end you suffer. Anybody who has done this will suffer, is suffering and is destined to suffer. Or, as I said, you can do good activities. Basically what I am saying is you can use it properly and then after 20 years what happens you have quite of the money left right from 1 million dollars if you have used it properly I don't mean you put everything in uh, bank in fixed deposit or in equity I don't mean that I'm saying use it intelligently judiciously and then at the end what happens End means after some time you have lot of the money remaining right or if you spend it then you have zero money left so if you use this principle in astrology many times I have seen people with a fabulous Venus they are having terrible relationships people with a very good Jupiter they are childless because Jupiter is the significator of child why are they childless? Jupiter exalted in Cancer. Childless. <laughs> oh, now you will say, oh, there's a malefic in the fifth house. But no. Perfect charts. But why are you suffering in matters of that planet? Venus. I have seen people. Venus placed in Swati Nakshatra in 15 degrees. In Libra, in Multriko. Men especially. Always crying, when will I get this girl? When will I get that girl? Why has she left me? When will she come back? That is the only dynamics in their life. Nothing else. And the same goes for women. Oh, he cheated on me. <laughs> Your Venus is in Libra, for God's sake. <laughs> it is not in an enemy sign like Aries or Leo. It is in Libra in its Mool Trikon Rashi. But even then, why are you suffering, madam? Which goes to tell me clearly that from the Prarabdha, the time they were born, the Kriyamana Karma, which is adding over it, they are adding poison to it. See what happens when there's a glass of milk, there's a snake, <laughs> cobra snake. The cobra comes and puts one drop of poison. What happens? The whole milk is spoiled, yes. And who is the snake in astrology? Who? <laughs> It's Rahu, right? Rahu is the head of the snake and Ketu is the tail. That means you have invited Rahu. Then my dear sir, please come and sit here. And then the result is inherent disaster. It's terrible. And on the other hand, I have seen 
sometimes many times in fact venus is very badly placed very severely afflicted in debilitation in virgo and the person is not having that bad of a relationship it is neutral it, it's not very great also but neutral he is like able to somehow stay with the person which is a very big thing in this age that is not a thing to be ignored if somebody is able to stay with one person it's a very big thing when i say one person i mean not at at a time i mean to say that if a person has married somebody and he is able to continue with one person lifelong it's a very big thing these days it doesn't happen like you, it used to happen in the earlier days even with a debilitated venus with a bad venus with a venus doubly afflicted by mars saturn rahu ketu combust with sun i have seen placements which means when they got the prarabdha which is like 1 1 million dollar from the big account of the sanchit karma you did not get much money instead of 1 million you got only 10000 euros maybe very less but then that 10000 euros you used it properly and then at the end after a year maybe the person who had 1 million euros or 1 million dollars and who only got 10000 dollars after one year the person who has 10000 euros is in a much better state than the person who had 1 million dollars or 1 million euros whatever you want to call it and i have seen the other extremes also that your venus is well placed and you are very happy in relationships and venus is very badly placed and you are miserable but the question is how to know the kriya mana karma how to know what the native has done from the beginning to this life to the the point when they have reached you approached you suppose a boy reach approaches me his age is 25 years so till the age of 25 how do i know what all karmas he have done the horoscope will only tell me whatever has happened to him horoscope will not tell me the reactions you understand reactions for example if there is a breakup which is scheduled to happen at the age of 23 suppose as an example then that will happen but how the person reacted to it that i cannot know from the horoscope because that is the area where he is using his free will he can either commit suicide or he can go and murder the girl or he can understand that sometimes things don't work and i have to let go and later he emerges as a beautiful person a better person not just sitting and thinking oh i lost this girl what will happen he can do n number of things or get into addictions or get into prostitution yes n number of things he can do how do i know what he has done is very easy to know the moment the client approaches you you make the chart of that place at that time so suppose a person approaches me for a consultation then the moment i sit to do his consultation then i will make a horoscope of the place where i am but the only condition is you cannot be moving you have to be in a stationary place that time because otherwise the longitudes and latitudes will change it is known as prashna kundali in astrology so for example what is the time now now the time is 9 pm 17th september my god sun has entered virgo <laughs> 2017 9 pm okay so now for example somebody approaches me at half an hour past this then at 9:32 gottingen germany where i am situated now i will make the horoscope 
and suppose in that chart I see that the planets are placed suppose let me give an example for example suppose Venus is very well placed let me give you an example which means what he has helped women he has behaved properly with the opposite sex all the Venusian traits he has not invited Rahu that means cheating or too much physical indulgence or watching pornography or Venus is also liquids drinking addiction etc and Venus is also luxury too much over obsessed with luxuries all these things are not there that means which means that he has not indulged in all this if Venus is well placed when the person approaches me and now I will ask okay my dear sir what is your birth details and then he will tell me okay I was born in Los Angeles 10 a.m. 15 September 1985 for example and then I will make the chart that time and suppose I see that his Venus is very badly placed in his birth horoscope which means in his prarabdha Venus was very bad but now in the Prasna chart which shows me the Kriyamana Karma Venus is well placed that means the negative results which his birth horoscope was promising will be reduced because he has improved that planet and on the other hand if I see the person has an exalted Venus in Pisces in 20 degrees of Revti Nakshatra and then when I see the Prashna chart I see Venus is in Virgo <laughs> then that means terrible it is he has misused all the money that was granted to him so that means the prediction which I have to give him has to be the mixture of the Prashna Kudli and the birth horoscope and within the Prarabdha Karma there are different ways to know which is fixed and which is not that I will make in another video so which ultimately goes to tell me that you can improve the things for example if somebody Saturn is in Aries in debility it doesn't mean that you have to die like that <laughs> it doesn't mean that you can always improve because Kriyamala Karma has effects on the Prarabdha which means whatever happens to you ultimately from now on will be the summary of the Kriyamana Karma and the Prarabdha well now I hope you have understood this but the question is what about Sanchit Karma Sanchit Karma is very difficult to identify Sanchit Karma can only be tackled by your spiritual master your guru when the Guru gives you initiation, Diksha, Mantra what happens when you are initiated, when you get Diksha the Guru will take a banana, I mean the different traditions happen in different traditions it's going on differently, it happens in a different way but there are some traditions which I know what happens when the Guru gives you the Mantra, the initiation then you promise to follow certain rules and regulations for the rest of your life and then by that your guru gives you the guarantee that you will reach God and in that what happens he in the yagya in the fire he will take a, a fruit probably a banana or so and then he will put it in the fire which means he has put all your sanchit karma into the fire which means in this life your Prarabdha and Kriyamana will be finished and you will be zero karma which means you go back to God you obtain moksha spiritual perfection provided you follow the rules and regulations otherwise you have to take birth again if you commit sins you have to there is no alternative 
all astrological remedies will work only till the prarabdha even within that it is there are conditions where if this problem is there will remedies work or not that video i will make some other day not today so prarabdha you can't do anything sanchit karma you can't do anything kriya mana karma you can do that is why there is all this fuss can you change karma can you change this can you change that people don't understand the prarabdha cannot be changed but ultimately what happens is not only on the prarabdha it is along with the kriya mana karma so that is it from my side if you have any questions queries and comments then please let me know and if you feel that this channel is benefiting you in any way then you can go and donate to paypal in my account the link is there in the web page oh sorry i mean in the youtube page there's this link donate to donate to paypal if you think uh, this video or this channel has benefited you can do or else continue watching the other videos okay three types of karma there you go until next time i wish you good luck with your kriya mana karma bye bye see you